From the time of the ancient yogis to any form of meditation or spirituality, you will find that the act of breathing in a particular manner is always associated to overall well-being and harmony. Why is breath work so important? Hi guys, Cherian Karpan here, founder of White Life. And today I'm going to explain a little bit on breath work. Did you know that around 70% of your body's toxins are eliminated through your breath? That's right, 70%. That's a lot of toxins. Now the breath work can be regarded as an alternative form of medicine too. But it's quite subjective. Your ability to consciously connect with your breath is very important to get the maximum benefits out of breath work. If you Google or search on YouTube, you'll find so many breathing techniques to improve your energy, to keep you calm, to make you feel more relaxed, to get you more alert, to get more focused, to improve your memory, to feel happier. There are so many breathing techniques. And I would say that a lot of them do have a lot of science behind it as well. So to begin with breath work, any form of it, we recommend that you start with breath awareness. Now in breath awareness, what you simply do is you sit in a comfortable position and you just observe your breath. You don't consciously try to change the way you breathe. You breathe as you normally do and you just try to bring your attention to the way you're breathing. Feel that air go into your body and feel it coming out. Keep practicing this and it's true that occasionally or more often than never you're gonna be distracted and that's absolutely fine. That's how it begins. You gotta keep practicing so that you can keep your attention more focused on your breath. So in the art of breath awareness, start by just observing your breath. Don't have any emotions on it, don't judge, just let go. Keep feeling it, that's all. Try to do this, try to practice this and see the sense of calmness that you feel once you've done with the practice. You can simply start with just a minute, take it to five minutes or even 10 minutes later on. You see, there are a lot of receptors in our lungs within the alveoli, which are small sacs in the lungs. And with every breath that you take in and you breathe out, small, small messages are being sent to the brain. And that's how we respond to certain things around us. Certain studies conducted with electronic nerve stimulation have found that the way we breathe can directly influence the way we feel, the kind of emotions that comes out to us, the way we judge a situation, and the way we react and respond to anything. Now, if you've heard of the flight or fight response, this is associated with the sympathetic nervous system. When you start breathing rapidly, shallow breaths, maybe when you're working out or you're under stress, you get tensed. This is when your sympathetic nervous system is activated. Now, if you consciously control the way you breathe and you force yourself to breathe slowly, slow deep breaths into your belly and slow breaths out through your nose, you'd find that your heart rate goes down, your sense of well-being and calmness improves almost instantly. This is because now you're activating your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of the other one. So literally just by controlling your breath, you changed your brain state. Breathing affects every organ and system in our body, both psychological and physiological. Conscious breathing techniques are something so powerful, but it's free. And that's why a lot of people just neglect it. Everybody would want a pill, which is easier to swallow, right? But with the practice of breath work, you can have profound changes in your life. You can reduce your anxiety. You can feel a lot better. You can be more focused and you can retain a lot of the things that you learned. So whatever your life goals are, conscious breath work. There are many types of breath works, of course, but consciously doing and practicing them can have amazing benefits in your life. Some of the most popular breathing techniques include box breathing. Then there's the 478 breathing in which you breathe in for four, hold for seven seconds and breathe out for eight seconds. There's the Wim Hof technique, which is pretty famous. And there's also whiskey breathing or the pranayamic breathing in which it's a one is to two ratio. But as always, like we mentioned, start with breath awareness. Just observe your breathing, feel it go into you and feel it go out of you. Start there and then progressively you can try different breathing techniques based on what situation or what kind of goals that you have. I hope this video was informative to you guys and I hope you guys share this with a lot of people that can benefit from it. As always, stay informed, stay aware, take control of your health 
and live a life without limitations.